guys! So today what I'm going to do is share with you guys my monthly favorites. And I haven't done one of these in a while just because I felt like I've been using the same products periodically. But I feel like um, they kind of haven't really changed so much. But now I've picked up a few things and I have been using all the time and have been gravitating towards. So I thought I would share them with you um, just because I think they're pretty cool products. Oh, at least for me. Um, and some of them are... Well, it's a mix of drugstore and, yeah, it's a mix of drugstore and, like, somewhat high-end. Um, but, yeah, let's get into this. So, something that I have been loving so far, um, it's something that I picked up recently um, in one of, I think I hauled it in last video or something like that. But it is the um, Suave Visibly, Visible Glow self tanning Lotion. And this lotion literally is white, like, hmm... It's literally white, and there's no developer on there. So, like, there's no, what is it called? A guard. There you go. There's no guard. So, literally, I put it on my body um, right after I get out the shower once I'm dry, and then I let it just dry, and then I'll get dressed. And then, like, a couple hours into it, or the next morning when I wake up, um, I'll have a little bit of the color, and then I'll reapply it, and then I will basically, in, like, two days, I think I got two days, this is two, <laughs> like two days, um, I got a significant amount of color. I'm pretty pale and I was able to self-tan myself within like three days, four days. I had like dark color, borderline Oompa Loompa. So you have to be careful with it, but if you're looking for a really quick fix to just get a slight color without looking overly done, like if you have a wedding or something on the weekend, you would do it like two days before just to build a little bit of color. I got mine in the color medium to tan because I am really light and I don't tan because I burn. So I figured I would get this type of color um, or this one instead of the light one because I wanted a color that would show up. And this really worked. Um, I have used it. I've used it a couple times, um, but I had to stop using it because if you let it go too much without like scraping or exfoliating after, you can look Cheeto-ish, sort of, as my boyfriend called me, little Cheeto feet. But basically, that's this is something that I've been loving because I don't tan, like I said, and it's just given me a gradual tanner. Um, and then, like I said, it's just, it's lotion, so literally I just grab a loofah and a exfoliating, um, like, washcloth, and I literally, or that's a loofah, an exfoli exfoliating uh, lotion, and I just, like, take it out and literally the color will come off. And it doesn't stain your your clothes or anything, so I really like this. And it's about 8 bucks, I think, it retails, or six ninety nine. You can get it anywhere from 6 to 8 and you get a pretty decent size. But enough about that. Um, let me talk about something that I picked up. Um, online, I placed an order for Ulta, and they sent me a coupon in one of my goodie bags for like $5 off any $10 worth of Ulta product. So I picked up two of these. One of them I gifted to my cousin, and so basically I got two for the price of one. I paid 5 bucks for two of them because I had that coupon. And it's a it's called the Ulta Sculpting Palette. And I'm trying to think of her name. Makeup Freak or something like that. What's her name? This girl who works at Ulta, she basically hauled this and was talking about it, did a review. And ever since I've seen her video, I really, really wanted to try them out. And this is like the palette I have been using. I just picked it up not that long ago, so it is sort of mm, kind of cheating. But I've been using it every day since I picked it up, and I've been in love with it. And I think I've already made a slight little dent on it. It has your bronzer, highlighter, and blush. And it's just the perfect palette. While it is big, it is very sleek, and I just love it. And it's in the color Rosetta. So that's something that I have been totally using so much this month. And then I will go into Keep It With The Drugstore. Um, I have been loving my NYX Chunky Dunk pencil, and it is in the color... What is the color name? Peach Fizzle? Or Peach, peach Fuzz? Peach Fuzzy. And I have been loving the NYX Butter Lipstick in the color Sugar Wafer. So these two, um, this can be very cre like creamy and flaky looking at the same time if you wear it on its own. And then this one just doesn't really, it just hydrates your lips. So these two together, I really have been loving them as a combo. And it's what I have on right now, and it's what I've been wearing on the days that I go to work and I just want to look like I kind of put myself together, but I didn't really. So these have been my two little lippies. And then, um, as far as drugstore, 
Um, I think that is it for my drugstore stuff that I have picked up. Um, but then I've been loving three brushes. I don't normally show brushes that I have been enjoying. Um, but I have been using these. And ever since I bought these, these are the Sonia Keshik, um, I don't know what it is. It's like the gold something edition. And I have been using the heck out of these two brushes. Um, this one I use to contour, um, really, it does a really good job at contouring with that palette. But if I'm lazy and I don't want to get another brush, I just wipe it off. And I'll use this as a blush one as well because it's just so smooth and it can literally just, like the apples of your cheek. And then this brush is a round brush and I just have been loving it because I can get into my crease really well and it also packs on color so I use it for multiple things. And I just think these are really cute and the hair on them are really soft and they just clean really well and I paid like six or seven bucks for like the kit. I think it was like six brushes or something like that. And I love all of them but I find myself using these the most throughout this whole month and before that but still. <laughs> they're my favorites. And then this one I don't I don't own any MAC brushes until I got this one, and this one actually was a gift for my boyfriend, and it's the MAC 286, and I use this as a concealer, um, as a concealer brush. So literally, I dap it, I dap it, I dip it into my NYX, um, Dark Circle Concealer, and like, it's a very thicker consistency, and then I'll pack it on, and then I'll go over with my liquid, um, my sheer, my MAC one, it's a, uh, concealer, but it's really light. And I'll just like buff it out and it just gives me like the nice amount of coverage and it gets into like the little areas. So this brush is good. Um, while it is on the pricier end, um, I guess it's worth it if you're going to have it for a while. And it cleans really well and it's so soft and it's furry underneath your eyes. So I guess it is worth it. I really have been loving this brush. And then something that I have been using for like ever since I bought it. So since May I think I've been using this. And it's just an all-time favorite. This is like my everyday essential. If I don't wear any makeup and I wear something, it has to be this. Um, so it's my It Cosmetics, my CC, my CC Plus, and it's basically like a little pump and it's like tinted moisturizer, BB cream, and you just apply it and I use my beauty blender with it and it just gives me a super nice coverage without looking overly done. And it has SPF 50 in it, um, so it's really nice and it's perfect for summer and it's just something that I have been using for the last few months since I bought it. So that's definitely a must. Um, Something that I have been using again since I bought it is the Mario Badescu Skincare Setting Spray. And it's just this really amazing rose water. Um, I use it as a setting spray for my makeup. I use it also when I go to bed. If I need a refresher, I'll just spray my face with like, and just leaves your skin really hydrated. I have really dry skin, so once I'm done with my makeup, I spray this. And then it gives me a nice glowy, dewy look. And it just makes my skin not look dry and patchy. So I have been loving this. And then a makeup palette that I have been enjoying is my Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. And I actually got this for my birthday, so I've had it for a couple months now. And I got it from my two friends, their sisters. Um, I'll link her channel down below because one of them has a YouTube. Um, but I've been loving this palette and it's been my go-to palette when I go out. I had family in town and when I would go out to the bar and stuff like that, I would wear this um, for makeup, for everyday, just eyes, simple. I use this palette and it's just has amazing colors and I love it. I bought the Lorac Pro 2 palette and I literally returned it yesterday because I hated how it, it was just so powdery. The colors didn't look well on me. And I feel like I, in the display at Ulta, they were so creamy and buttery that when I got them home, they weren't the same. So I, I returned them. I'm going to get something else. But so far I've been loving this and I feel like this is amazing. Um, and then the last three products that I have are actually hair care. And it's something that I have been using and I replaced my, um, I use a prescription shampoo because I've been having really dry skin and scalp. So I stopped using that because I found these products that Agabi sent me and I have been using them and they work really well. They smell really nice and I use these on my hair and they don't make my scalp itchy. Um, I feel like it makes my hair smooth. Um, I literally had it in a braid today for work and I just got home and took it off so it's a little moist. Um, it is a little frizzy. I do have frizzy hair. I do have normally curlyish hair and my frizzes, my frizzies do come out a lot. So I did apply these two um, and I applied the serum to my ends but I didn't put heat in my hair. I know heat helps like seal it. So um, I have been using these three though and I really do enjoy them and I really really recommend them just because I feel like they're great products. They are expensive but let me tell you, I pay $10 for a super tiny 
um, shampoo that's prescription and it works on my scalp. It doesn't lather and it doesn't have a scent. But these are 24 and I mean I'm getting way more product and I spend like $10 on a prescription shampoo. So I really do enjoy these and when I'm done with them I will repurchase. I will actually go out and purchase them because they're really good. Um, they smell really nice and sweet and they leave my hair a nice texture. It's easy to brush out and it's not something sticky. The oil is really nice when I put the heat on there with the paddle brush because it makes my hair, it cuts the the styling time in half and it leaves me a really nice healthy shine and it just looks really flawless. So these are definitely a must and I think these are my monthly favorites by far all you know of all month just because these have changed my scalp a lot. It's made my scalp feel so different and I don't know what's in here like as far as like if there's any type of thing that will help me with my eczema and my dry scalp but I know that it's sulfate free which is something that I need in any shampoo but these are definitely by far amazing and I know that I'm on the market for a new agave um I'm in the market for a new flat iron and I was researching on the agave um uh, flat iron and I'm really interested in it and I'm thinking of picking that up so we'll see if I do another video and you see me with that one because I the flat iron I have is just eh, and it's about dead it needs a new one so since I'm so amazed with these I think I'm gonna go out and purchase that one but that's enough of my rent with agave but um yeah so basically those were my July favorites and I will see you guys in the next month if I have any favorites that have changed bye guys thanks for watching